All right, hey everyone, you're here, and welcome back to the query. Um, this video is going to be the killed everyone ending. Uh, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called like the massacre pack or whatever. Um, so we're going to be doing that, and this video will be all the deaths of the not hackets, the counselors, including Max, uh, Laura. Abby, Nick, Ryan, Caitlin, Dylan, uh, Jacob, and Emma. So, I'll probably throw in some more deaths in there for you guys, and, uh, we're gonna get straight into it. I'll see you at Jacob's death. All right, here we go. Oh shit, the road over here. Oh, gotta be fucking kidding me. Jacob? Oh, dick. You met your friend. How it you, Jacob? And you're about to turn into your friend. Hooray! I don't know why they play music after he does, uh, but. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. It's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, love. A metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Let's go up. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger.
this is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing, what the hell. I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard, it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. Okay, buddy. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. I'm sure Max would love to say hi Take to you. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open? the spooky trap door and die a horrible painful death there are literally no right answers let's die a horrible painful death <sighs> goodbye cruel world the final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore all right bye No.
What am I supposed to do? I wonder where Caleb is. This place was so different like 12 hours ago. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like, uh, he was like a fish out of water. Right. Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit, or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. <sighs> Rabies? <sighs> it's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. What bear? Point. It isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Of course. Do you like me? Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a... Oh, such a... Such... what? like you. No, no, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God, I shouldn't have had a pick up. What? 
really very smart, aren't you? Oh, stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Right off the bone. This isn't you. This this isn't you. I... Oh. She looks like a. Oh wait, I think it's a first picture. She looks like an actual auto. Abby. <laughs> Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. Alright, this is where uh, she dies. See, I push you right in the dome, but I'm gonna let you crack my neck and behead me. Oh, I can make you that shot. Right there. And then she just does that. Oh. 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 Looks like it's had a dose of Travis's homebrew hypodermic. I wonder who they kept in here. Jeez. Careful. Cages are electrified. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. It's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. No, no, not my granddaughter, not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, you goddamn piece of shit, not my little Kaylee, God damn you, what did you do to her? Man, you're not happy about something up there. Laura? Here we go, baby boy. Shoot him out. Here, put him out of misery. Laura. What have you done? I 
ตัวท้อไอ้ที่ Watch your step ยกแฉบเลยโอ้ยอะไรเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเเดี๋ยวไปมองจอบไปโอ้ฟัก
she alive or something? Why does she look alive, bro? He did that. He's like, yeah, you can keep that. Damn. Crazy. Yeah, I guess a new drip. She must have come back. It's some to show or meet our death. Okay. This better have a great fucking ending. Yeah. Then you just die. Three AM Fortnite Big Black Oily Men working on the chapter one island. Hooray! Nom nom nom. That's his death. What the? Alright. Oh! Bro's now, uh, an oily paint uh, painting. Hey. <laughs> Bro, yeah, how did he just enter the building and just hit his head like that? Bro, I can't. Bro, I can't take this game serious sometimes. Why y'all so scared? Come on. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Run. Let's go, let's go. How can bro not open the door? And there's like is that like does that actually a real thing? Like, when you block a chair with, like, a kid-sized chair, you can't open it? No way that's not, like, no way that's right. Beam. I don't know if the window, how the window would benefit you. Alright, come on. Get it right, Caitlin. Alright, come on, you ready? Ready, ready? And... Where do, when do I go? When do I go? I'll go.
Come on, get right. Oh my god, I almost lost that. Okay, blood just died. <laughs> Where is Dimlin at? Bro? Um, we run. I think. Yeah, it plays out the same. Yeah, yeah, we run. Caitlin, hey, yo, we're good, my man. Are you serious, no. Warren Neal, bro? Okay. Okay. Alright, let's get right. We're about to get mauled, but it's alright. I feel like you could tell the werewolves apart, bro. <laughs> bro, that was so loud. Did he not hear that? <laughs> Alright, let's get mauled. Uh, ah! Ah! Hey, it was good. There you go. Broke her neck. She did. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Hey, twenty one. Damn. 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 Um, nah. Hey, yo, what's good, my man? Let me eat you up. Mmm, yummy. Nice and tender. Now I'm gonna eat your face. Yum yum. Yum yum yum. Yum yum yum. Damn. That was very tasty. Now I'm finna dip. See y'all. Never. Cause y'all dead. And I ain't. But what are those shoes? <laughs> My bad, man. Egg, 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 egg. Alright, final showdown. Well, actually, we're gonna final showdown in the car. Frick, frick, you're looking at! Hey, yo. So, what exactly happened six so years ago? What exactly old? happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens, dozens of, people, of people, and, and now there's a werewolf. Werewolves and, and a ghost, a ghost that, that roams, roams the woods, the woods looking, looking for her last baby, baby boy. boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit! Ooh, dude. It's a long story. No, it no, ain't. It's not. There was a fire. Silas, Silas the wolf boy, the wolf escaped. Boy escaped. Bit a bunch of your family. A bunch of your family. You, you failed to stop him. him. Right. Burn. Oh, not in like the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, bro, why are you saying burn, bro? This is kind of serious. What we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. But no. No matter what we did. But no bringing up. We were out there looking. Every single one. I disagree. Now boy, no way, boy. Is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. All right, buddy. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Oh, there he is. Hey, yo, what's good, my man? Bro, doing a little spidey dance, all right, I see you. Oh, let me eat. All right, so that's how you do it. And then basically, he knocked out. You take the wheel. Yep. Let, it, let him get beheaded. Nah. You out of there, Travis. 
Damn. What the hell? And then this hobs off like nothing happened. And he, I think he starts chasing the car. Cause he gets there so quick. And now Ryan's dead. And Laura is barely alive somehow. So yeah, Ryan dead. Yep, good. That's good. Alright. Oh my god. Yeah, she definitely... I don't even know what happened. Yep. Up. Oh. And then they both die. Let's freaking go, young boy. She's dead. And she's dead. Bro, I almost feel that. I'm not gonna lie. I almost feel that. Which wouldn't have been bad, it wouldn't have mattered, but Silas dies, and that's what, kind of what I want. Laura died. I can't see her. <laughs> wow, that was uh, intense, man. Hey yo, what's good? Quandale here. Quandavius Mingleton. I got a tarot I card. You think you have it all figured out? I bet you think you're fucking clever. I think I am. I'm not gonna lie. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not Why? now. Not after this. I will not. Can you look at my tarot card, bro? Please. My I got one. I've been with you all Is that night. just for no reason? And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Okay, buddy. Now sure. I will never leave you. That crow will. I, 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 I. So devious. My bad, bro. So you just gonna steal my tarot card? Alright, bet. Alright, I see all it is. Alright, let's look at this ending real quick, baby boy. Haggard's Cray Massacre. Hooray! Oh, I could hide the wings of the bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock. This ending took way too long, bro. It's rain, and I rise, wipe the sleep out of my eyes. My shaven razor's cold, and it stings. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a hope? The only one who survived. Was Chris, bro? <laughs> I mean, not Chris. Uh, Caleb. Caleb is literally just built different.
and that concludes the bad ending. <laughs>